yo what's going on guys today we'll be looking at the newest class soldier um this could be a quick look at the class this is a run for, like a quick test run because of the fact that this class does have a lot of things going with it not to mention that the weapon also has a lot to go with it like with the bullet farming um it's gonna take me a little bit longer to go through like a proper walkthrough of the class i guess so because of that i'm just gonna do like a little test run for people who want to see the class in action and later down the line maybe tomorrow i'll try to do a more in-depth review of the class and my opinions on it um initial thoughts is that it's rather good gunslinger itself was a good class soldier being a more updated gunslinger does bring a lot of great things to the um i guess the, the mechanics i guess i don't know where the, would best fit there but it does bring a lot to the table now uh, one thing I will mention though that there are new bullets to be farmed um, we're gonna look at the weapon bullets I am using the bullets of the prior weapon the Neb chart or Neb what, what I don't remember the name of it it's Nebu something I, I don't remember but now we have John Doe and John Doe does come with new bullets to be farmed do note that you can use your old bullets from your old weapons but uh, I would recommend farming the new ones though the new ones do have a quite a bit of requirements some of them requiring elements you require co-op items and stuff like that so it's going to take a little bit of time to farm these um do note that i will be um trying to include these when i go over the class again in a more in-depth video but for now i just wanted to mention this in case people wanted to know um you can see the bullets i'm running right here just the old school bullets. You got the cylinder, the full metal jacket, iron bullet, and coral points. So just letting, just letting you guys know that. I'll probably be replacing the coral points with the Zeus points as well. But we should go through a uh, little good test run. I am running Divinity on the weapon. Divinity because it does come with the four hit superior damage uh, at the end of each turn, which is pretty cool. So. We'll see how it goes. If I can get back to the menu. <laughs> how to get back to the menu. I need to stand here party. Okay. Do you know that my pool doesn't have a lot of MA in it? Uh, not required. Um, the skills we're going with it, open fire and fortitude. Open fire is a skill where it like eats up all your bullets, but you get a lot of autos. So a good way of using open, open fire is to combine it with something like, let's say, uh, what, what's it called? Forgot the name of it. Thor. So there we go. Since it doesn't eat up a turn, you can combine it with Thor to get six turns or six hits of Thor, which is a really good combination. So let's start here. I didn't bring much debuffs. I only really brought the angels and all this, so. Normally I bring more, but Celeste high level is not that hard of a quest where I should bring that many debuffs. I think, we get, I think this one increases your crit rate, right? yeah. Right. So one thing I don't really like about this class, that it has the same problem of old school um, gunslinger where it eats up like <laughs> time because the, uh, the attack animations are very slow so that's me being a try hard do forgive me on that but i got i gotta point it out though <laughs> can't help it so one that's one thing i wish they changed um another thing i'll mention gunslinger has the superior outfit in my opinion i i just want to throw it out there i think gunslinger looks cuter you may disagree on that but i think gunslinger is a little bit cuter hey that's my opinion. <laughs> Fight me on it. But right here, you're gonna see the um, the nukes right here pop out. 1.3. It's so good. I definitely love it a lot. The like this team right here has a lot of end turn nukes. You have her on her dodge, her on five stacks, and your main character drops 1.3 million every turn. So it's actually pretty skill um skill cap heavy. Which is pretty cool. A different way of playing light, I guess. During this phase, though, the 1.3 million every turn does rack up really fast. That's one thing I will mention. It just keeps happening. 
Because you, you actually don't take damage from this boss unless the boss Ogies and this portion of the fight. Like right here. But this is white damage. I don't think it technically counts, right? No, white damage does count. So if you take white damage, then um, even that counts as technically damage. In some portions of the game, white damage technically does not count. But I guess what this class does. So you can see the 1.3 million right there. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna use this and this. So we do have Thor up. So I'm gonna try to chain Thor with a better uh, when I get bullets again. You did all my on my Ogi after my Ogi rather. It's my game plan. Um, use this. Um, Okay. So we're gonna use skill one Ogi, then drop four. This is my game plan. We also use star as well. Stars for my um my team, so that they multi attack. on the turn when I just drop Thor. <laughs> so we should be dropping Thor this turn. Comfort. Meh. I was ready. So we're gonna drop Thor here. We're gonna use uh, the buff. And then we're gonna drop the full of oh, the open fire. So you can see right there the bonus damage does stack. So you get all that free damage. Pretty cool, pretty cool. You can use this. One thing I will mention though is that you have to Ogi to get back to your full stacks. So I don't think that's optimal. If you have the uh, reload, you would reload right there instead of Ogi like I did. But for the six hits, I, I think that's worth it in my opinion. Then we'll scale one to get the guaranteed triple attack. And you can see right there, that bonus damage really kicking in. So I think Thor and Light has really good like synergy here. So we got, what that, 12 hits in for our main character? I think that's, I think that's pretty good. I think we're on what, turn seven, eight, I think? And the boss is already dead. Pretty much. Oh, turn 12. Okay, maybe I can't count. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I, I thought I dropped Thor instantly. I guess I did not. I guess I wasn't counting. Because I, I assume I dropped Thor instantly in my head. Because normally I drop Thor on turn 6. But, you know, that's not what happened. <laughs> That's not what happened. But what, 1.6 million? My fault, 1.4 uh, million. Right, that's 1.4 million. So, what, over 12 turns? That's not bad, I don't think, damage per turn wise. Keep in mind, my team doesn't really have a lot of auto attacks, so that's the thing. And turn the multi attacks, rather, not auto attacks. They have auto attacks, they don't got multi attack. But um, I think that's pretty good. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time and later. Bye.